you cool cats, welcome back to Dungarumpa V3, Killing Harmony, I'm Mina, and let's get going for the day. <laughs> oh, hey, Ryoma. Oh, Shuichi. Oh, uh, Ryoma, are you headed to the dining hall? No. <laughs> if I went there the way I am now, i just ruin the mood. Hey. Listen, I can't even begin to imagine what your life has been like. And I know this is gonna sound cliche, but okay. You shouldn't give up on life. If you keep living, I'm sure good things will happen. <laughs> good things, hmm? But. Good things are when your wishes, hopes, or dreams are fulfilled, right? What does that have to do with someone like me with no wishes, hopes, or dreams? Uh, um, but. More importantly. More importantly, did something happen to you? Huh? Huh? Sheesh. Haven't noticed? You look completely different from yesterday. <laughs> it's like your eyes have stopped focusing on the past. <laughs> your face looks more dependable. Okay, well, you're you're alive at least. Ryoma's speech was low and melancholy. He turned and walked away. Uh, okay. Stop focusing on the past. Okay, no one else is here. Boom! Let's go. Aw, oh, no. Do I have to talk to you? Might as well. I've warmed up your voice. Hey! Hey, Shuichi. I mean, Puichi. Something I gotta ask you. Why did she correct herself? Hmm. You ever hear about the... You ever hear about back items in casinos? Huh? Back items? What are those? <laughs> Hey, you wanna know more? You do, right? On your knees! The bow to me, worm! Wait! Where is this coming from? Listen up! Last time, when you and Kaede bow to me, it felt so good that I had to put on dry pants. Oh, God, you're so... I hate you so much! <sighs> Last time, when you and Kaede bow to me, it felt so good that I had to put on dry panties. So do it again. Come on. Come on, hurry up. Make with the bowing already. Uh, um, sorry. I'm not gonna do that. See you later. What? Huh? Wait a minute. You don't need to bow. Just listen to what I gotta say. She just wants my attention. Oh, I do want to know what she's talking about. I suppose I'll listen to her. You're right. All right, I'll hear you out. What is a back item? Um... So, if you have a certain item, you can play a back game sponsored by Monokuma himself. It can be traded at a higher rate, and if you do well, you can earn quite the fortune. A back game? I have a bad feeling about this. If I remember correctly... Ah, uh, wait a minute. Is that item... this medal? It commemorates the founding of the casino, after all. What was that? <laughs> what the... Really? You made a discovery that even I, the gorgeous girl genius Mew Iruma, couldn't find. How could I be bested by the beta of all betas? <laughs> Screw you! I... I hate you, Mew. I hate you as much as I love Kaede. No. You came to me. <laughs> I knew coming to you was a good idea. What with you being a detective and all? You managed to track down the metal coin like I knew you would. Huh, I'm so awesome. That being said. Let's bring that metal coin to the casino. Uh no, but yes. Hmm. I'm a bit worried about Monokuma. I'm more worried about what will happen if we ignore it. I'll see what happens just in case. <laughs> <laughs> just as I predicted. Detectives get excited for casino games just like boys get excited for holes. <sighs> Out of my way! Come to the casino once you're done eating, and don't forget to bring that medal. Uh, okay. Uh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'll finish eating. Oh, I'm hesitant, but I don't want to ignore it if it has a potential to be a problem. That's okay, right? Does someone, like, non-ironically like that character? Just... <sighs> nice to meet you. Huh? Oh, good morning, Shuichi. Hey. Good morning, Sumi. Are you headed to the dining hall? Yeah, 
Yeah, well, not because anyone told me to or anything. I just felt like it. That reminds me. Oh, that reminds me. Have you gone to the casino, Shinichi? I find myself there sometimes. I've never seen most of the games they have there. Could it be? Do you think Monokuma made them? If so, I regret getting hooked on one of them. Hmm. You are hooked on one, huh? It's plain to see. I'm just playing confident in my gaming skills. Would you like to play together sometime? Uh, um, uh, sure. If we get the chance. Uh, oh, sorry. We should stop talking about that stuff like this and go to the dining hall already. I'm gonna go on ahead. <laughs> like, as I went back to edit, I noticed that Sabugi is, like, playing the straight man to, to everyone. Um, just sort of, oh, whoa, 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 hey, you just peered out of nowhere. Kibo. Good morning, Kibo. Yes. Good morning. Um, have you seen Kokichi or Gonta? Huh? Uh, I haven't seen them. Hmm. I see. I saw them earlier, and they seem to be sneaking around. As I thought. Given Kokichi's penchant for mischief, do you think he's planning to cause more trouble? Gunta is very earnest, but also very naive. Kokichi could easily fool him. Well, that's true. That's a bit disconcerting. Why? I wonder why Kokichi is so determined to undermine our cooperation. True, Monokuma does interfere with our attempts to cooperate, but consider this. Perhaps what Monokuma fears more than anything is our cooperation. I... This is, that is why I think that Kaede was not wrong. You're right. I think so too. I'll always be thankful for what Kaede tried to do for us. Hmm. I know I was trying to figure out between Kibo and Gunta which one would kill or survive. If, if you've been watching the ending credits of my episodes, I'm, I'm torn because I have way too many, uh, way too many guys that I think will survive, and I someone has to be a killer. One of them has to be a killer, despite me thinking they wouldn't be. Like, I can't imagine Gonta or Kibo doing a killing. Oh, now I, I don't want to side with it just based off of this conversation. <sighs> Indeed. That's right. If we all cooperate, I'm sure we will be able to escape this place. If we meet every morning for breakfast, we will slowly but surely become more united. Okay. Yeah. Well then. Well then, I will go to the dining hall now. Oh, my favorite voice to do, not really. Hey. Good morning, Tenko. Yes! Good morning, Shuichi! Kurumi made us breakfast this morning, too! You're right. You're right. It smells good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder what hot pot she'll make this morning. Boar hot pot? Maybe pheasant hot pot? Everything Kurumi cooks tastes delicious! I'm so excited! According to my calculations, not everyone has gathered today. I suppose so. You can see that without doing any calculations. Jeez. Jeez, what's everyone else doing? It seems as if... It seems Maki has chosen to spend all her time inside her ultimate research lab. I'm not sure what she's doing in there, but she has no intention of leaving. What was that? What does the ultimate child caregiver gotta do in her research lab anyway? Huh? Maybe she's hiding a bunch of kids in there that she's secretly taking care of. Uh, um... What? She's not some stray dog in the streets, raising pups. Um... I also saw Kokichi and Gonta sneaking around together. Ah. Couple of virgins sneaking around sounds like bad news to me. Hey! Ah, uh, I also saw Ryoma on my way here, but he said he wasn't coming today. Hmm. I see. Well, we don't need that guy around here till he gets his head on straight. <laughs> How did that famous Ryoma Hoshi end up like that? What? The famous Ryoma Hoshi? M moving along! What are those two doing? What is that? <laughs> oh, I noticed they were hanging out together um, quite a bit in, uh, in the free time that I picked last, last episode. Angie, what are you doing? Um, uh, hey, what are you guys doing? Prayer time! Praying to a Tua, of course! Mm. Praying to a Tua. Huh? Oh, you too, Himiko? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
as long as I pray like this, I don't need to waste my energy on useless stuff. No matter what happens or what trouble lies ahead, my heart will be calm. I'll commit that to my memory then. I see. It's escapism. That's not right. No, she has merely abandoned reality to speak to a tour. Actually, that is escapism. Oh my. Really? I didn't know that. You gotta be kidding me. Hey Angie, what did you brainwash Amy go? <laughs> On the contrary, I've undone her brainwashing. Hmm. Hmm. I was brainwashed before. Back when I didn't feel the presence of the Tua. Oh, this is what she was talking about. <laughs> it seems it's too late. Himiko! Himiko, please get a hold of yourself. You have to face reality. Please! Hey, Himiko! Himiko! Stop it. Stop it. You interrupt me, it messes up my calm heart. I am remembering this nightmare reality. All my insecurities and loneliness, the pain that, that made me want to die. Here! Oh, see? I imagine, like, like everyone, everyone must have had something really traumatic. Sheesh, Tunko! Don't interrupt Himiko while she's praying! And then, smiling as always, Angie walked up to Himiko and... I understand, Himiko. You're not actually scared. You're just sad, aren't you? You feel frustrated, anxious, and worried, but you have no one to confide in, do you? It's okay. You're not alone, Himiko. I know a handsome god who is keeping a watchful eye on you. Uh, a handsome god? Ah! Yeah. What a mysterious miracle. I'm not scared anymore. Thanks, Bituatua. Ah, oh, how wonderful. It's all thanks to that handsome god. Hey! Oh, what handsome god? Wait, here you go. You like handsome men? Why can't it be me? You. Are you playing for the other team? Uh huh? Uh -huh. What are you talking about? It's nothing like that. Hey, hey Angie. What did you do to Himiko? Huh? Oh, what did I do? What a surprise! I did something? I did. What did I do? Yeah, yeah. Ah, yes, yes. Atua has spoken to me. I shall convey his message to everyone. Oh. Where is this conversation going? Anyway, what was Atua's message? It concerns me a little. Oh, <laughs> hey. Angie, what are these divine messages? Uh... Tua says that this academy suffers from the same sins as the outside world. You're all unhappy because your greed is making you treat each other like adversaries. Atua has spoken. Your desire to leave this place is only worsening your greed. Because uh, um, Atua says so. So we must cast aside that simple greed and rejoice in our new lives here. You. So you are saying we should live here for the rest of our lives. No, no. No, no, that's wrong. How divine! It's not enough to simply live here forever. Our lives must also be full of divine purpose. In other words, yes, see? we must make this academy heaven on earth. What? And then? In doing so, our desire to leave will vanish and the killings will cease. That's... Are you being serious right now? Because this place provides us all with food this place provides us all with shelter, food, clothing, and wonderful friends. You get punished. What more could you possibly desire? Do not give in to your greed. What? What? Himiko! Himiko, do you hear this nonsense? Snap out of it! Get out! Tua's divine messages are never wrong. Huh? What? Uh, yep. Himiko is a good girl and a fast learner. And then? Together we devised a truly divine plan. <laughs> the best plan ever to help us live lives of fulfillment here. Oh. The best plan. Yeah. Tell them, Himiko. Everyone! Make them burst with happiness. Mm -hmm. mm, explode with excitement. It's finally happening. Great, huh? The amazing Himiko's magic show is finally opening. Huh? A magic show? <laughs> 
Oh, I wonder if I should give her a, a happier voice. Don't worry, admission is free. Er, actually, I guess admission will just be your smiles. Over the years, my show has given many smiles to people with broken hearts. Now is the time to demonstrate my powers. With my magic. My magic is the only thing that can heal your twisted hearts. But in our current predicament, performing magic tricks is quite illogical. Stop it. Yeah. Don't disturb my concentration. You gotta learn to read the mood already. And it's called a magic show because I do magic, not tricks. Screw your magic show. I don't get excited about that crap. Your face is lying. <laughs> you are way too excited. How about that? Yeah. The show opens tomorrow morning. Come to the gym after the morning announcement. You guys better get excited and look forward to it with anticipation. What? Say. Surely you mean anticipation. Or have I misunderstood the nature of this show? <laughs> well then. Hiniko and I will begin the prep work, and I'm supposed to ask others to help too. Bayonara! I'm counting on you guys to help! <laughs> Bayonara! Mm -hmm. yeah, farewell. Huh. Is someone gonna die in the magic show? I'm like, I'm surprised that we haven't had a murder yet! <laughs> After announcing their show before anyone could react, Himiko and Angie left the dining hall. Himiko? H Himiko? What happened to her? Oh dear. <laughs> Faith as intense as this can be quite terrifying. But there may no be cause for there may be no cause for concern. This does not appear to be related to our Moda videos. Come on, man. You're only worried about that? I'm worried. Of course. We cannot afford to take Monokuma's motives lightly. But and everyone who isn't here could be showing each other their videos, right? The fuck you just say? You mean Kokichi going to Ryoma? No. No, I don't think that's it. Even with three people, there's a low probability of them having each other's motive videos. It seems unlikely that one of them would show a motive video without seeing their own in return. So I don't think a video exchange in a small group like that is likely. True. I see. That is true. Well done. <laughs> Not bad. That's the ultimate detective for you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. The same goes for Angie and Himiko. <laughs> <laughs> Give Himiko back. What do you think? Well, for now, let us have some breakfast, shall we? I've prepared meals for everyone. Of course, I will deliver meals to those who are not currently present. You don't gotta do that. I'll eat their portions. <laughs> Kaido, don't push yourself too hard. After I helped the stuffed Kaito to his room, I returned to my own. Oh, am I really gonna get more free time? Or is it just gonna make me go to, um... Yeah, there we go. I should go to the casino. I did promise Mew. <laughs> Wait up, Shuichi! Huh? Huh? Kokichi and Kyo and Ryoma? Ha! Fucking virgin! Looks like the pubeless virgin was eavesdropping on us. <laughs> an evil supreme... As an evil supreme leader, I can't just pass up the chance to watch you win a jackpot. That's correct. Ryoma and I have arrived as well. Yeah. This place is pretty suspicious. We'd better investigate it thoroughly. Hey! Hey! Well, well. We can play some secret game with Shuichi's medal, can't we? What? Who came up with that rule? Fucking moron! <laughs> you? The doi? Who else could it be? No, no. But it wasn't me! The fuck you just Qu say? Quit fucking room! <laughs> I'm not playing dumb. I never tell a lie, because bears do not lie. <laughs> That's not very persuasive. First of all, that medal is just a special knickknack I made for the Mona Cubs. There's no reason for you guys to have it. Stick it in a slot machine if you want. So we can use it even though it 
supposed to be a special item? Why you? What? You mean I got fake info? Oh, man. Typical useless Mew. You would get jerked around by fake info like that. Ugh. Jeez. Well, it's fine if it was just fake info. It's not the reason I came here anyway. Whoa. Oh! What are you guys doing here? Hmm. Uh, Kaito? Yahoo! Why are you here, Kaito? I thought you swore off gambling forever. Hey. Hold on! What do you think I came here to gamble? Well... Would one come here for some other reason? You're wrong. I didn't come here to gamble. I'm Kaito Momota, I just don't understand why the, the instincts of Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars, were off. Oh, I see. So you're pausing to win it this time. Kaito, it's good to be confident, but not when you're wrong about everything all the time. What? <laughs> huh? You take that back. Don't screw around. Don't you dare underestimate the instincts of Kaito Momota. I challenge you, Kokichi. <laughs> I accept your challenge. I'm so easily manipulated. <laughs> so simple. Like a moth to a flame. Uh, okay. Y yeah. Kaito, Kakichi, Korikiyo, Ryoma, and I. Five of us each used our coins and then competed at the slots. I've been roped into it before I even realized it. Ah, who cares? Wait, why am I getting shoved aside? You might rig the slot machine, so it wouldn't be a fair match. Huh? What? No, 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 no fucking way I'd ever do that. It's written all over your face that you would. All right. Well then, let's start. Competition is over in a heartbeat. What? Why? But I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. I lost in a lens. Whoa! That was so awesome, Ryoma! <laughs> Winning at something like this isn't anything to brag about. But you're smiling. Against all odds, Ryoma won in, by, in a landslide. Hey, do you have some sort of trick? Nothing like that. I just got a back for it, I guess. What? What? You mean you're lucky? That's just superstition! What is it? I can't ignore that comment. Do not relegate luck to the realm of superstition. <laughs> oh, my Kokichi senses are tingling. Kyo's about to give an anthropology lecture. Yes. For example, it's said that certain words or phrases will jinx a difficult challenge. This is deeply connected to the Japanese concept of Kurodama. The power of words. <laughs> like seeing green if you want me to go harder, or red if you want me to stop? Say. Please be silent. What? Oh, what? I'm just trying to lighten up the mood. You know what? It's a good thing we came here. I enjoyed our visit here today. <laughs> so then. Kododama is a belief that words can take power that can influence reality itself. Speaking positive words leads to fortune, and negative words leads to misfortune. Right? Yeah, like when you rephrase a sentence so it doesn't sound as unlucky. I see, yes. Yes, when someone facing a challenge hears negative words, they might feel it is unlucky. That feeling of misfortune will then... may then... In, that feeling of misfortune may then affect their focus or motivation, yes? Mm. I see. In that case, perhaps the belief in superstition is what affects them. No. I don't let silly things like that affect me. I win simply because I'm confident in my skills. That's all it takes. That's good. Yes, and words have the power to grant or rob someone of such confidence. Words are powerful. Truth or lies may both be fired as powerfully as a bullet from a gun. Okay. Uh, I see. I guess you can't under I, I guess you can't underestimate luck. Hey, so. Hey, Ryuma. Did you have any pre-game rituals or something? Yeah. Well, now that you mention it. When I was playing a match, if I entered the court with my right foot, it'd go well. So I did the same thing with this slot machine here. <laughs> so you are superstitious. <laughs> That's it. 
<laughs> I bet your racket bends to the right too. Listen. <laughs> oh, what a great, great time. Oh, please be silent forever. Oh, I hope you kill her. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great, you guys, if Cory Keo killed Mew for me? Oh, that'd be the best. I would I would I would be I'd be okay with letting you leave. I'd be like, I know he's black and but can we just let him go? I know he's crazy. What did I do? Stop glaring at me. It was just a joke. Alright, All right, then I'll give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> You're so gullible, Kite. Ryoma wins again! Too bad! <laughs> Serves you right! Why don't you give it a tug with your other hand? Luck alone doesn't produce results as consistent as these, Ryoma. Well, of course. If I was just lucky, I wouldn't be undefeated on the court. You know, Kaito, you don't have any skills when it comes to gambling. Shut up! My skills are suited for the universe! That's why they don't work on gambling. I can't waste them on that. That's why I don't gamble anymore. Yeah, I think that's for the best. <laughs> I took a very depressed Kaito back to his room, then we turned to mine. Am I gonna get any free time? Kokichi and Gonta. Angie and Himiko. And Ryoma. And Maki. Maki, too. Everyone's all over the place, but I shouldn't just leave them be. There has to be something I can do. Yes, I'm gonna do something about this. Free time? Oh, but I have a feeling they're not gonna let me uh, hang out with Angie. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna let me hang out with them. Oh, what? <coughs> what is this? There are small talismans posted on the door that leads to the gym. That's right, they did say that the magic show would be in the gym. I guess someone is allowed to enter while they're setting up. Alright. Alright, Himiko, 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 Himiko! Should I hang out with Tenko for a while, even though she's staring at the gym intensely? No! No, 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 no. Um. So, like. Back in Danganronpa 1, if you tried to hang out with someone when they weren't in a, a good mood, uh, you would just waste your time. Like, quite literally, time would be wasted. It might have been the same for Danganronpa 2, but you know what? I never hung out with anybody in Danganronpa 2 that, <laughs> that didn't want to hang out with me. Even though they all died the same chapter I hung out with them. <laughs> um, when I played it the first time, anyways. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Who should I even hang out with? I don't... <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna... I'm gonna stay true to my word. If Kokichi will let me hang out with him... Then I will hang out with Kokichi. If not, I'll find someone else. Hey! Good morning, Shuichi. <laughs> I make sure to never miss a morning greeting. Greetings are an important part of my of any relationship, even for an or evil organization. Should I hang out with Kokichi for a while? Despite my not wanting to, I'm pretty sure you're going to live pretty long. I don't know if you'll like survive, but you're definitely gonna make it to like the last kill that isn't like Monokuma or whatever. You're definitely gonna make it that far. You're gonna die, probably. I don't know if you'll be the killer or victim. Okay. Yeah, sure. Well, change of plans, going to See you later. Huh? But what about strategy meeting? Don't worry. Oh, don't worry. I already thought of a plan to get everyone to show their motives to each other. Huh? Really? Yeah. But I'll need your cooperation, Gonta, so I'm counting on you. Hmm. Okay, leave it to Gunta. Could these those two be planning? I have a bad feeling about this. What? Okay. I spent some time convincing Kokichi not to do anything stupid. Go 
Peachy and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give him a present? Uh, what would an evil guy like him like? Hmm? <laughs> Work chair of doom. The ultimate workstation with a comfy chair and so much technology that you'll never want to get up. Those who sit here will be in danger of becoming obese. <laughs> ah. Let's see. You know, I think I read that he likes, um carbonated beverages so if I can't find something that sounds evil I can always do that I don't know what he wants I don't know would you want a fully automated shaved ice machine I guess I kind of would here oh he does like it Whoa, this is nice. I've always wanted something like this. By the way, that's not a lie, okay? Don't worry, I'm actually happy. Shuichi. So you want to talk to me, eh? You must be pretty reckless, Shuichi. I'm the ultimate supreme leader, you know? <laughs> because. So you say, does that really mean anything? What is this organization you run? Oh? Huh, didn't I tell you? I'm the supreme leader of a secret evil organization. Hmm. Yes, you said that part. Yeah. It's pretty impressive, too. It has over 10,000 members. But you said that as well. But I can't think of any organization that fits that description. <laughs> huh? Didn't I tell you? I'm also a liar, too, you know. Okay. Yes, you've mentioned it. It's true! But I'm telling the truth when I say I'm the supreme leader of a new secret evil organization. You're dizzy talking to Kokichi. I feel like I forget how words work. My organization controls the entire world, but of course, it's behind the scenes. All the world's mafia syndicates are under my command. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get into turf wars if I don't control them. That's just trouble for everyone. It's a pain, especially since peace is the best thing for the world. I don't think I can believe the words of a leader of an evil organization. Oh yeah, which is why I gotta do the same thing with the government, too. I control politicians with blackmail, I manipulate stock market on a whim. I subordinates all over the world. The White House, Kremlin, Beijing, Wall Street, London, and even the Tokyo Stock Exchange. No. I make one phone call and the world changes. Let me know if you get bored with the world. <laughs> that has to be lie, is the truth. But is following along with it, like, the right thing to do? I, I've been picking wrong this entire time. That has to be a lie. <laughs> you shouldn't think like that, Shuichi. Huh? What? Yeah. That has to be a lie. Ah. <laughs> I knew it. Wow, I can actually read minds. Just kidding. It was pretty obvious what you were thinking. <laughs> You're gonna die from stress if you keep thinking like that, Shuichi. Shuichi! So now that you know about us, Shuichi, you must die. Wait! What you told me, I didn't even ask. You got me! Oh yeah, oopsie poopsie, I'm such a ditz. I'll let you live for now, since I messed up. But I'll kill you eventually. Uh, um, are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, for realsies. I hate lies and jokes. Just kidding, I lied again. You are something else. Like, truly something else. I return to my realm, mind and body exhausted. Why am I so tired just from talking? He said he would kill me. He's just lying, right? There's still some time left. Oh. Kaito? <laughs> yeah. Huh, I guess that's Kaito, but is he here to train already? Aren't we supposed to train at night? It's a little early. Then, the moment I open the door... Sh Shuichi, run! Huh? Huh? What happened? Yeah. Don't just stand there, run! Hurry! He's coming! What happened? Who's coming? What? Good. Kaito risked a glance down the hallway and immediately stiffened up for fear. Damn it, he's already here! Hurry, Shuichi, run! Shuichi! 
We both make it out of this alive. Let's train again. Oh, uh, Kaito. Kaito gave his ominous warning, then ran away at lightning speed. Huh? What? Who are you talking about? Is it Gonta? Peek through the gap in the doorway to discover what Kaito was so terrified by. That's Gonta, isn't it? He looks different. The only reason why I assumed Gonta was because after hanging out with Kokichi, he was like, he's like, we got a plan to make everybody. <laughs> so, and I couldn't think of anybody like Kaido would be scared of. Like, what are you gonna be scared of? Like, Kokichi? No. Korikiyo is like creepy, but he's not like. Like, terrifying. Now, if Gonta was mad, that's scary. <laughs> What's going on? He looks like he's checking each room. He'll be at my door soon. I don't know what he's up to, but it's probably better not to be here. Careful to avoid alerting Gonta, I quietly tiptoed down the hall. I stealthily made my way to the car courtyard. What was that all about? What's going to up to? Yeah. From the looks of it, you ran away from Gonta too. Ah. Ryoma. What now? I don't know why, but it seems like he's gone into a rage and trying to catch everyone. <laughs> he's charging right at me at top speed. Huh? He threw himself right at you, but you managed to get away? That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I used the Shukuchi method. Technique from my tennis days. Like a flash step, you know? <laughs> of course gotten rusty since back in the day, but you've still got a ways to go. I still got a ways to go. He won't be able to catch me like that. Shikuchi, really must have been an incredible player back in the day. By the way. By the way, I'm sorry. For saying something so uncool like I've got no reason to live. Huh? Uh, no, you don't have to apologize. Whatever. I'm going to say this so we're clear. I'm not so stupid that I'd waste my life. I only said that. I only said something like that because I was jealous. Why? Of you. Jealous? Yeah. So I had a stronger attachment to life. I could try my best alongside you all. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, suddenly Ryoma ducked down, taking cover. When I looked to find what had scared Ryoma, I saw. There you are. Hey, where are you going? Huh? Gonta? Sorry, Shuichi, but I'm gonna run. I've still got things I need to do. No! Gonta no can let you leave. Sorry, but it's for your own good. Gonta charged at us like a runaway train and then... I lost consciousness. What is going on? I didn't even feel the impact, didn't have time to scream. My world turned dark. And in this pitch black world, I thought to myself, this is what it's like to die. I can't die yet. Uh. Morning, sleepyhead. You're finally up, Shuichi. Oh, hi, Kokichi. Funny seeing you here after we hung out and stuff and had all a good time together, right? Huh? Me? <laughs> Are you gonna ask, who am I? And where am I? Well, you're definitely Shuichi Saihara. And this place is... Hmm, I guess hell. Hell? I shook my head confused. I looked around. Hmm. I is this... Uh, oh, you're awake! This is the ultimate entomologist research lab. Huh? The ultimate entomologist lab? Why? Oh. Uh, I remember. I was attacked by Gonta, and then... That's correct. The same is the true... The same is true of the rest of us. We were all seized by Gonta and brought here. Um... Uh, Chuichi's the only one who got knocked out. By the way... Gonta apologized for that. Apparently, he couldn't slow down in time when he grabbed you. Why? What is this anyway? Why did Gunta do this? Oh my... It's because of that guy. He was provoked by that guy. 
My eyes followed where Samugi was pointing. Obviously. <laughs> it's no use trying to escape. Gonto will just catch you again. Okay. Um. I don't know why you're doing this, but you want our motive videos, don't you? I didn't have to be this room. It gives me the creeps. Well, obviously that's why it's in this room. No. Is this you were doing, Kokichi? Did you have Kong to kidnap us? <laughs> He's so simple-minded. As soon as I told him that everyone who hates Bugs was trying to get rid of him, he started crying and said that he would get you guys to love Bugs, or something like so that. So that means... And that's why we're all here. Welcome to the mandatory insect meet and greet. Oh, Gonta thought up the name, so if you don't like it, voice your complaints to him. That's terrible. You're terrible. You tricked Gonta. Right? Isn't it great? Only an evil supreme leader like me could do something so evil. Kokichi. Kokichi, why are you doing this? Ah. Oh, I thought we could throw ourselves a little screaming party with all our videos. See? With all you hear, exchanging our motive videos wouldn't be that difficult at all. <laughs> and I want to see your videos too, so I figured we could all binge watch them together. Please, wait! D d do you know what will happen if you do that? Um, um, everyone will know their motive and a killing would will be more likely to happen. But... But I like playing on mean difficulty. Also, I don't run from battles in RPGs either. I want to win this killing game, so I'm not going to run from it. I'm going to crush it. How exciting! It'll be way less boring, don't you think? Huh? What the hell does that mean? Z? I tried to warn you guys. I told you that we shouldn't cooperate with each other. <laughs> Plus, if I'm going to do this, then I gotta enjoy myself and just go all the way. If the thought of playing a death game doesn't excite you, you'll never win, understand? Strangely, I could detect no evil in his smile as he said that. His innocent smile, like a frolicking child. Although, perhaps, it's just another lie. Hey! Thank you for waiting! Going to bring Himiko and Angie! What? Huh? Himiko and Angie, too? Aww. Oh, man! And I was just about to take a break, too. I just finished all the prep work. Uh, what is the meaning of this? Himiko! Himiko, are you okay? My saliva makes injuries heal faster. Piece of cake! Does your face hurt? Do you want me to spit on your face and make it better? Stop it. No. Hey! Hey, Gunta, are these the only ones you brought back from the gym? Mm -hmm. Oh, Karumi at gym, but she told Gunta she too busy. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? And you just let her go? Atua has spoken. Atua says Karumi fulfill any request someone makes of her, like a mommy. Hey! Uh, she's not a mom, though. Wait, what request? Uh... I requested that she sew the curtains. I don't think even Gunta can disturb her. Sorry. Sorry. Not even Gunta is strong enough to overcome Kurumi. Mm. Mm. Well, I guess at least one of you is worthy of being called an ultimate. By the way. Well, nothing we can do about her. Are the others still hiding somewhere? Um. Oh, Gunta see Mew, but Gunta's face get red hot. So Gunta no could bring her. Mm -hmm. Your face got hot? You mean you were hot on her trail, right? Yeah. No, um, she used her, what she call it, secret woman weapon? And then... What? Anyway, this is enough people, right? Insect meet and greet is off to smashing start. Maybe. Yeah, sure. This is good enough. We should move on to the main event anyway. <laughs> Gonta, don't be deceived. He just used you to abduct us all. Huh? huh? Really? Uh-uh. No, this is for the insect meet and greet. I like bugs even more than you do, Gunta. Huh? Oh, more than Gunta? Amazing, you like bugs that much. Oh, dear. It would appear further argument is a useless endeavor. Hey, hey. Now, Gunta, go ahead and teach them just how wonderful bugs are. I gotta run an errand, but I'll be back. Don't let them leave, okay? All right. If they try to leave, it means you gotta really show them why bugs are so great. Mm. Mm-hmm. Got it! Could it be... W wait, you're leaving? Yeah. Of course. Someone's gotta break into your rooms to get the goods. <laughs> Lockpicking is a cinch for an evil supreme leader like me. What? What? You're gonna enter a girl's room without permission? I must. 
It seems I must be the one to take care of this. With my talent, Kokichi, I will You're stop... You're so dumb. Yeah, yeah, I don't have time to listen to some robot. Let's see, it's exactly 9 p.m. right now. I should be back by nighttime. Well, have fun with bugs till then. Kokichi then left the classroom. It appears we are caught in Kokichi's trap. What should we do? At this rate, we'll end up as a Mona video screening party. <laughs> my my Neo Kido is no match for Gunta's superhuman strength Everyone. either. We still have a chance when Kokichi comes back. That's when I will take care of this. Everyone, please just endure it until then. Huh? Endure it. Everyone, play nice. Okay, now we start the fun, fun insect meet and greet. <laughs> Oh no. When I had first woken up, Kokichi told me this was hell. It appears that wasn't a lie. Oh man. I. I do not like bugs. Oh, I do not like bugs. The incredible specimens each gave off the appearance of vigor and vitality, and they were exactly as vigorous as they looked. With our escape route blocked off, all we could do was run around in the room in a panic. The nighttime announcement played, but it didn't save us. The insect meet and greet continued without mercy. What happened, Kokichi? You said you'd be back by nighttime. Ah, oh no! Himiko is being buried alive by insects! H Himiko, hold on! The more you yell, the more bugs can get into your mouth. <laughs> Finally, when our bodies were completely exhausted and sleep was nearly upon us. We finally came back. Whoa! Ugh, there are bugs everywhere. How n I mean, how nice. Oh. oh, you come back, Okichi. Come, we have fun. Everyone, play nice. We're gonna have so much fun. You know, as much as I'd love to do that, maybe we should call it a day, hmm? See? The bugs look really tired, and a gentleman knows to do things in moderation, you know? You're right. Oh, going to understand! Hey, hey. So you clean up while I take care of business with the others. Kokichi's hands were full of several cubs pads. Ah, <laughs> uh, alright. Wait, let me talk to Angie first. <laughs> what a divine time! My island is full of creepy crawlers. This mini box doesn't bug me. <laughs> With a positive reaction. Yeah. What's going on? The last thing I remember is Gonta releasing the bugs. Did she pass out from fear? Well, I can understand that. Yoo-hoo! You guys okay? You all look like drowned sewer rats. Because you're late! Wait! You said you'd be back by nighttime, but it's already 11 p.m. now. My bad. Sorry, I ran into an unexpected snafu. But... But look. <laughs> Cubs pads. Why is the backs of them scraped off? Or scratched off? Alright. That's probably a hint. Because why would you show us that? Cubs pads. Gotta catch them all. I even got the pads belonging to the people who aren't here. <laughs> now everyone can watch their Moto oh video. My. We said we don't want to. How exciting! Well, it's late and I'm getting sleepy, so let's start hey. already. Start what? Well, you know. oh, don't worry about it, Gonta. Just keep watch so these guys don't. That's enough. That's it. I won't let you do as you please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I also. I don't want to use this unless I absolutely had to. It eats up a lot of my electricity. That's neither here nor there. I will stop you right here, right now. Huh? Kibo, what are you gonna do? Still glaring at Kokichi, Kibo slowly reached a hand behind his ear and spun a mechanical part there. He's lighting up. Is he gonna self-destruct or? Huh? What's that sound? One moment, please. I'm rewinding the tape right now. The tape? Right there. Kibo shouted and pushed his palm against his ear. That's when... Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have Gonta kidnap us? Was that my voice? 
He's so simple-minded. Oh. As soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them, he started crying and said that he would get you guys to love bugs. Or something like that. Could this be? How about this? So, what do you think? You just saw my audio recording function for the first time. What? Did he really just whip out an audio recorder like it's some kind of secret weapon? Actually, really? It's a cassette tape? In this day and age? What? But it's a metal tape, you know? Wait, why? The sound quality isn't the issue. Really? Let's just put that aside now. More importantly, it seems to have worked. Give. Kokichi, what you mean? You not like bugs? Man, now it's boring. You say we get them to understand how amazing bugs are. Is that lie? <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you. I love bugs from the bottom of my heart. All right. Oh, so it not a lie. Then gone to happy. Let's have fun with bugs all night. Hey, bugs! Who want to pet more bugs? Huh? Eh? Everyone. We must run while we still can. Oh. Wait, we need to take back our cups pads first. Tenko snatched the... Tenko snatched the cubs pads from Kokichi. Oh. Aww. Then we all ran out of the lab. After leaving the room, I could still hear the muffled buzzing and Kokichi screaming. <laughs> they might be corpses by tomorrow morning. It's plain to see. Don't joke about that. What if it happens? It's just plain possible. So how do we return these cubs pads back to their rightful owners? Jeez. Ooh, if only the Moto Cubs were here, I'm sure they'd help us. Hmm. Oh, that's just you. It's fine. The others are asleep. If you need something, I can help you. Uh, um, uh, um it's about the Cubs pads. Kokichi brought them to us, and I simply need to return them. I will return each one to your respective rooms, you bastards. <laughs> He left. Well, that was abrupt. But, but out of all of them, we can probably trust that one, right? Well then. Shall we go back to our dorms? It is well past night time. <laughs> That's true. We have the magic show tomorrow. You're right. Because of this, we couldn't do a rehearsal, but I'm sure it'll be a divine show. Yeah. We'll be waiting for you to come watch. <laughs> We'll be waiting, she says. It's Himiko's show, not yours. Uh, um... I suppose that's all right. I just remembered, I wasn't able to train with Kaito today. Oh, too bad. I can do it tomorrow night, though. It's not like I'll never see him again or anything. No! Worn out from all the commotion, we dragged ourselves back to our rooms. Oh god. Hmm. It's close to midnight now. Tomorrow's a busy day. I should get some sleep. I collapsed onto the bed and quickly fell asleep. I need a miracle! You pray, right? While you're working, living, and gambling. But miracles happen every day! For example, do you know what the odds of the Earth existing are? The same as a tornado blowing through a junkyard and assembling a working car. That's a miracle. That's why being alive on Earth is just a miracle. All kinds of miracles happen every day. Life is made up of little miracles. But whenever a miracle does happen, it just gets chalked up as fate or destiny or whatever. Be grateful for the miracles that have already happened instead of hoping for new ones. If you do that, you should be able to enjoy miracles, right? Guys, why hasn't uh, somebody died yet? <laughs> I'm I'm now like 100% certain that someone is going to die in this music show. Or not, not music show. Someone's going to die in this uh, magic show. Blah, 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 blah. It is now 8 a.m. Whoa. That was borderline a jump scare. <laughs> This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It's 8 a.m., so wake up. Ah. Well, we left. Monosuke is so impatient. 
He's been cranky lately, so let's make a recommendation. I don't like a patient man. I want to get along with Monosuke. All right. It's a little early, but I'll go ahead and do the nighttime announcement too. And that's that. It'll be 10 p.m. later. It's too early. Your impatience is trying to warp time and space. Hmm. Today is the day of Himiko's magic show. But the insect fiasco yesterday, and now this? Do we really have time to be doing this stuff? Well. Oh, I suppose I shouldn't think about it too much. I'll just go to the gym for now. <sighs> I've had so much free time already, and that insect thing, meet and greet, was not someone dying, so this can only be this can only be bad. This can only be bad. Someone is dying. Someone is gonna die in this magic show. I already know it. Someone might already be dead right now. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if someone was doing a killing during the meet and greet. Or, yeah, the insect meet and greet. And that's going to be like our alibis that Gunta helped create. Well, you didn't die. Tsumugi. Good morning, Tsumugi. Good morning. Are you okay? Are you okay? You look a bit sick. Uh, yeah, it's just the sounds of those bugs bugging. That's thing is still in my head. Even after I went to bed, I just kept hearing it, so I didn't get much, that much sleep. That's... Uh, that must have been rough. Gunta would be sad to hear it, but I like bugs even less now. I'm glad there aren't any bugs outside of Gunta's lab. Wait, are there? Oh, well, Gunta did say that he thought he saw a really tiny bug once. Yeah, well, yeah, he did say that. But, but even with Gunta's 20... 0.625 vision, he could only barely see it, right? So, isn't it possible he was just plain mistaken? No. No, actually, I really hope he was mistaken. Oh, my. Uh, I'm so over, Bugs. Just gonna go forget the last night and enjoy the magic show. Right. Yeah. Alright! The show's in the gym, right? I'm gonna go on ahead. Someone's gonna die. I can feel it now. Because nothing else is happening. Nothing's queued up. So this is the only thing. Looks like you're alive too. Kibo. Uh, good morning. Uh, Kibo. Good morning. Yes. Good morning, Shuichi. How are you feeling today? Are you still sore from the events of last night? Okay. Uh, I'm fine. Are you alright? 100%. Yes, I'm fine. I recharged the electricity that I used on my recording function. Even so. I'm very happy I was finally able to use my functions to help everyone. Kibo's recording function. It's not exactly revolutionary technology, but it did help a lot. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Kibo. You really earned your title of Ultimate Robot. Well, of course. Oh, it was nothing, really. If you ever need my help for anything, please don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I will. Um... So, the magic show is starting soon, yes? Everyone has probably gathered in the gym already. We should get going as well. Hey, Kirumi. Kirumi. Ah, uh, Kirumi. Good morning. Good morning. Everyone has already gathered for the show. Ah, uh, is that right? I suppose everyone's looking forward to it. That is correct. Mew seems particularly excited. Her eyes lit up like a child's. She's that excited, huh? By the way, it would seem that some outrageous events transpired last night. Hey. Yeah, Kokichi tricked Gunten, going along with his Muda video screening plan. But thanks to Kibo, we put a stop to it, so it's okay. I see. I see, so Kokichi truly does intend to oppose us. Please, go ahead. No matter. Let's go inside. Everyone is waiting. Nicer than I thought it'd be. Yaha! Welcome to our magic show. What do you think? Isn't it divine? Okay. Yeah, it is. I didn't think you'd have a real stage set up. Did you and Hina go to a office? No, no. That would have been impossible with just two people. I got others to help us. Kaito and Kibo helped carry equipment from Himiko's research lab. I designed the stage, but Karumi sewed the curtains. Thanks, Bizua Dua. Everyone is so nice. Atua deserves all the credit. No. Uh, shouldn't everyone who worked on it get the credit? Oh, 
Oh well, I didn't ask you to help because I didn't know what you'd be useful for. That's... Did you really have to say that? I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, just sit tight. Once we're done preparing, we'll start right away. Huh? Done preparing? You're not ready yet? Uh, yep. The star of the show needs to settle her nerves. The star of the show requires mental preparations? <laughs> <laughs> She's shaking like a leaf. Uh, should I talk to her? Could it be? Here we go. Are you a bit nervous? Just a little bit. Sorry, it doesn't look like just a little bit. Because the magic I'll be performing today is the extreme water magic under water escape act. I've never successfully cast it before. It's pretty difficult, so I'm a little nervous. Huh? You've never cast it before? Mm. And today, in order to raise the stakes, there's the time limit. If I don't escape from the tank within the time limit, piranhas will be dropped in. Let me pureed. Uh, pureed? This is looking a little dangerous. Water is cloud lately, so I can't see clearly, but I do see fish swimming around. Those are piranhas, huh? They don't look like normal piranhas. Hmm. Well, those piranhas were in my research lab. I just said we should use them for the ship. Uh, oh. No. Wait, piranhas are way too dangerous. Oh. Uh, Tenko. Nico! Nico, please reconsider! They're piranhas! They're nothing like lasagna! My magic! No need to worry. I'll instantly kill all the piranhas with my magic. Huh? You're going to kill them. I thought this was an escape trick. Um, Hugo, are you serious? Uh, there's no way I can stop now, since Atua's watching the show and all. No! There's no such thing as Atua! And she's brainwashed you! What was that? You don't believe in my magic? Well, I can do it. I'm a skilled young girl, because I'm a mage. She psyched herself up and headed straight to the water tank. Uh, of course I believe in your magic. You're my precious friend. Tenko. Yoo-hoo! Ready, Himiko? Did you say your prayers and use the bathroom? Mm, yeah, I said my prayers and went pee. <laughs> then let's get this show started. It's starting already, but not everyone is here yet. Maki, Kokichi, Ryoma, and Kaito weren't here. <gasps> One of them is dead. One of them's dead. Uh, Kaito has the highest death flag, followed by Ryoma. And it's not going to be Maki and Kokichi. It's going to be definitely Kaito or Ryoma. One of them's dead. Oh, God. What happened to Kaito? I thought he'd be here for sure. What if something happened? Thank you, Atua, for being with us today. Boo! Boo! You're supposed to thank us first! Ha 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 ha! I present to you the mysterious, the miraculous, the amazing Himiko! <laughs> the, the, the magic I will perform today is the extreme water magic. <laughs> uh, underwater... Escape act. If you would please turn your attention to the water tank in front of you. When the timer above the stage starts, Himiko will enter the water tank. Once she's in the tank, her assistant, me, will draw the curtain in front of the tank. After 60 seconds have passed on the timer, a separate suspended tank will open and drop in a school of piranhas. Oh my goodness! After the piranhas have fallen, and the curtain is opened, if by some miracle Himiko has been gobbled up, please give a big round of applause! Uh, <laughs> I don't think we should applaud for that. Just kidding! It's a joke! Are you feeling alright? I'm concerned about Himiko. She's not responding properly to Angie's jokes. Going to worry, going to have bad feeling. Uh, uh, Tuba, please protect Himi. No! Wait, what am I doing praying to Tuba? That's Angie's stick. Oh. Well, I guess you could pray to some other god. Well then, 
Let's begin. The amazing Himiko's magic show. In her typical high-pitched voice, Himiko made her announcement and started the timer. Then she took a breath and dove into the water tank. Okay, I'm closing the curtain! Angie closed the curtains, obscuring the tank from view. I stared silently, waiting. I clenched my fists nervously, my palms damp with sweat. Himiko is still not out! She went in mere moments ago. Well, do you think she's all right? Uh, Gonta's starting to worry. Should we do something? She, she still hasn't come out. Are you sure she's okay? Gonta can't take it anymore. Gonta cried out, leaped out of his seat, Wait, and Gonta ran up to the stage. Oh, you can't do that. We're still in the middle of the show. But if Gonta does nothing, piranhas will eat Himiko. Huh? Um, less than ten seconds remain. I don't care if it ruins the trick. Just come out. This dress is bad for my heart. Himiko! Right when the timer hit zero, the buzzer went off. And then... The bottom of the suspended tank swung open and the murk water and shadowy shapes inside fell into the water tank Himiko was swimming in. Huh? Huh? Look! The piranhas! H hurry! The curtains! Open the curtains already! Got it! I'm opening it now! When Angie pulled apart the curtains, we witnessed an unbelievable sight. There's gonna be a dead body in there, isn't there? <gasps> oh! No! It took us a few moments for all of us to even process it. But then again, perhaps we weren't trying to process it. Perhaps we didn't want to acknowledge it.